if you look at the journey that our, that our clients are going on towards cloud, what we've seen is most of them are only 20% on that journey. So by acquiring Red Hat, it's giving us extra capabilities, additional capabilities in terms of what we can bring to our clients. So very exciting for us, very exciting I'm sure for Red Hat and ultimately very exciting and beneficial for those clients. And as it relates to your remit on the blockchain side of things, do you see a blockchain play in this latest acquisition for IBM? So certainly the way in which IBM is bringing many of our services and products to market is increasingly through cloud. That's the way customers want and require the, the consumption of those services. So I do see that there will eventually be a, a convergence. But more broadly, I think the, the acquisition is reflective of IBM's transformation. And as part of that transformation, blockchain has been a, a key focus of that, an area that we've invested in significantly and an area that we focused on uh, considerably. And the Dubai blockchain platform is, a, is an example of that. So tell me about this latest initiative in Dubai then. IBM was, of course, selected for that Dubai blockchain platform. Um, what problem will blockchain solve in Dubai and how can this technology be implemented across the city? Sure. So if you look at the kind of North Star for Dubai, it's become the happiest city in the world. And working back from that, part of that is offering citizens, residents, business owners, visitors, a more frictionless digital experience. So what blockchain is allowing the government to do is to reimagine the business of government, to take processes that required multiple touch points, processes that were filled with friction, for example, and digitize them and offer them in a way that is ultimately more delightful and a better experience for those constituents. Where would you say we're at when it comes to the maturity of this technology, though? Because there's a lot of skepticism out there and this dirty association with cryptocurrencies. Is that necessarily the case? And, and, and when do you move from this being an experiment to actually sure. being fully operational? So, so so the way to think about cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and, and technology such as that is that this was really the first use case for blockchain. It isn't the only use case and it's not necessarily the highest value example of blockchain, but it's where blockchain began. So that association I think is, is it, it's there, but it, it's not the full story. Um, wh where we are in terms of blockchain is that if you look at the last two years, there's been experiments, there's been proofs of concepts. We're really at this inflection point where we are ready to start taking things live. And that's the reason for bringing the Dubai blockchain platform to Dubai, is that will allow the government to take that next step on that journey, to actually take these, these systems that have been built, go live with them, scale them, and use them to deliver real value to real constituents. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.